what is going on, Niner fans? We're one and two. However, we still have a lot to, you know, celebrate, man, because I think, well, I know that we have ourselves a franchise quarterback, a quarterback that despite, you know, kind of a shitty ass defense and not a lot of weapons on the offensive side, we have a quarterback that's number two right now in uh, yards per game. When is he like top three in QBR? He might be number one. I don't know what he is, but he's up there. And, you know, obviously you got the, a lot of the mainstream media still talking trash, which is whatever. But I'm going to try to stick to like the guys that have been, had Brock Purdy's back since day one, you know, and that's like someone like uh, Mike Holmgren, Sean Salisbury, who else has been out there from day one? There's been quite a little, quite a few guys, but not a lot out there defending this guy. And Sean Salisbury, I like this video. He was on KNBR and he talked about so far Brock Purdy, his first three games. Despite us going one and two, he's not the reason why we're one and two. But I just want you to check this clip out. And he talks about a lot of people, you know, a lot of these mainstream media guys, they need to fight. They need to just say, hey, I was wrong. All you have to do is say you're wrong. But he talks about his three games so far and it's pretty interesting. But check this out. I, I'm still trying to figure out, guys. I champion his cause. I, I almost feel like I, an apologist, which I don't need to be. I, I'm still trying to figure out, maybe you guys think different. From my vantage point, what's not to like? Is it because is it because when the national yeah the national media puts up the same numbers they win they've struggled a little bit but let's talk about injuries and about five or six plays in this game that they that they had given up against the Rams and let them get back into it we can go through those if it, I mean, I'm not telling you guys anything you don't know but what's not to like weekly he put, keeps them in games he puts up numbers he can make every throw his feet were phenomenal keeping plays alive. Um, he's accurate with the football. Is it because he doesn't look the 6'3", 230-pound part? I, I'm, I'm tra- and, you know, it's hard to overcome Debo, McCaffrey, uh, Kittle. Uh, it, it's hard to overcome that, whether you're Joe Burrow. He's 0-3. We don't have the same narrative there. So I, I don't know why the last couple of years, the first year he comes in, next year he's in the third year of his career. His numbers have been gaudy for two, for two years. But is it because he wasn't the free? If he was a second-round pick, we, we wouldn't get enough of him. People be raving about him. So they, Brock Purdy's playing well enough to win each week. That I do know. And to put him in position. So because he doesn't, he's, he's not a big, strong, powerful, looked apart when he walks into the room and everybody's engaged because he's 6'5". I, I, I don't know what they want. Sean McVay talks about him. Every coach that plays against him loves his game. Kyle loves his game. I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out. What's not to like? And you know what drives me nuts about this? And I hear you guys see it on. We hear it all the time, and I hear it all the time. Yeah, but, but there's always a but that somebody wants to come up with, and you're right. I think it's a lazy-ass narrative nationally. I see it all the time. But then again, the slop I see that's trying to talk to me about football, like getting away from the two high safeties, the stuff I see on national TV tells me, okay, I'll consider some of the sources that are stealing money when they're trying to break it down. Instead of actually watching tape, and understanding who the guy is. And you are 100% correct. They're, they think that the other shoe's going to fall off. And I'm not anywhere near Brock Purdy, but have been a guy who was supposed to get drafted, shredded my knee twice, went to the NFL. I mean, whenever you got the start, you know what everybody said? Well, how long can this last, right? That, that is how they feel. You're, mm-hmm. They look at you different. But once you've made – you'd think by now – I understand the first few starts. You'd think by now it's like – they're saying that about Sam Darnold right now, guys. You know, he's playing out of his mind. Well, what about Sam in New York? What about Sam in Carolina? Well, Sam's being well-coached. He got well-coached in San Francisco and learned a lot from that very Brock Purdy. But you're right. They're going to die on it because they just can't admit like most of us should. Sometimes you're wrong. Yep. And 32, 32 teams passed on him for six rounds and, and 31 picks or whatever it was until the 49ers decided, ah, let's take that guy. Well, yep. what you can't account for is competitiveness and that lack of the, the powerful arm that you want. I know a guy's got a powerful arm that can throw it through a car wash without getting wet, but can't hit the car wash. But he makes up for it with active time, you know, with timing, anticipation, throwing guys open, an incredible amount of physical, mental, and emotional toughness. And there's something to be said for a guy who's had to overcome being that guy, the last guy drafted, and leading. And if Mm -hmm. it's good enough for the 49ers, it's good enough for me. I've watched a lot. Listen, and it's not a pat on the back. I've tried to figure out, okay, why don't they? And you're right. This comes down to the sheer ego that I, I, something's going to go wrong. And the second he has a game that they don't like, you know what? It's his fault. See, yep. told he couldn't make that throw. Yet when he goes out and keeps a team in a game that they, that they had won and couldn't stave off 
some of the mistakes that were made and some of the stuff the Rams did hitting big plays down the field, fake punt, all those drop ball, all those things. But that's Brock's fault. So, you know what? I'll champion his cause because I love his grit. But more than that, he's not just a, a grit with a good personality. The guy's a good football player. Yeah. And you can win a lot of games with Brock Purdy. It's hard to win a lot of games with three of your most talented players not playing at full speed or playing at all. All right. So I like that. I really thought that up. I mean, he 100% on the, on the money, man. These three games, his footwork has just been I – think, I think he's been better than last year. Last year, he had great footwork, but sometimes he was, you know, a little – sometimes he did have a little happy feet sometimes. This time, I think he's gotten better, man. I think he's gotten better with that, his deep ball. I think he was number one last year, but he's hitting a lot of these deep balls too. Those ones that Jawan Jennings that he was saying, that one on the left side, it was like a wheel rod or something. Just a perfect strike, man. He's been doing this all game, all year long. I know in the training camp, he gained extra muscle. So he was missing early on it. But then now that he, he got up to uh, speed, you know, how strong he is now, he's starting to hit these deep balls. And it's good because remember last year, the first four four weeks, people were uh, dissing him, saying, whoa, what about that deep ball, man? He's like, he's horrible. But dude, now, I mean, he it looks like he's one of the best, man. He, he looks like he is the guy uh, going forward, you know, that we're going to be we're going to have for the next 10, 15 years. And that's that's a good thing, man. It really is. And Sean Salisbury talked about the part with the media, how a lot of these guys just got to admit they're wrong, man. You know, the guys, the Ryan Clarks, you know, uh, your your guys' boy, <laughs> Cowherd, Nick Wright. Uh, just admit it, man. Just say, that, hey, you know, I was wrong about this. He, after that last game against Minnesota, we were hearing lot, some nine, Niner content creators coming out saying that, hey, man, what's up? Uh, he's, uh, thrown six touchdowns, six interceptions in the last seven games. Is he really him? It's like, come on, dude. Like he's ready. He's done this from day one, his rookie year. No rookie like does that the way he was just balling out, knew exactly where to throw the ball. It was just, it was amazing, man. So that's the quarterback we have. And when Brock, when he was cooking, like he did last week against the Rams, man, as long as you don't <laughs> blow it, like we did the five freaking defense and Ronnie Bow. I mean, he's going to keep you in games, and most likely he's going to win. So that's the kind of guy that we need, you know, uh, out there. And I'm I'm comfortable with him. I know that we lost these last two games, but it I just don't think it was him, man. I think our it was our defense, our defense, and uh, uh, our defense <laughs> at the end of the day. So hopefully, it's not one of those years where our offense balls out. Which I think what are we top three offense, but our offense balls out. And then our defense is like, remember when Jeff Garcia, we had like the number two offense all year long. We we're just balling with T.O., Jeff Garcia. Who do we have? Damn, I can't even remember who we had. Was it Garen, Garrison Hurst? I don't remember. But like we had like the top two deep offense. But our defense was like ranked last. Um, and it was like, oh my gosh, Jeff Ulbrich, Derek Smith. Oh, I think Ahmed Plummer. Um Webster, geez, that was horrible, man. We just had the worst defense ever. And uh, I just, I'm hoping that we get something going there because Brock Purdy, man, he, he's doing his thing. He's doing his thing. And I couldn't, have, I couldn't be prouder for the guy. You know, I just, he's going to get paid, man. And I'm not concerned about him doing his thing and then getting the big fat contract. And then I'm dipping out, you know, I'm dipping out. I'm not going to play as good. Uh, I'm not going to train as much as the offseason, kind of like how Ayuk did. I don't think he's going to do that. I think he's a workaholic. He knows that his, you know, his work is important to him. It really is. He talks about that. He has good work ethic. No matter what happens, um, it's not even about always about the money. And that's why I like I like guy that's humble and, you know, isn't afraid to say, you know, hey, I, I demand greatness out of myself. You know, that's what I like. You know, he's not arrogant or nothing. He's just, he's a confident dude. So I love it, man. This Through these three games, I think, um, if we weren't one and two, he would be probably in the MVP race again. And who knows? If we go on a run, he could be another MVP candidate, just like last year. So, um, and it's amazing what he's doing with the crappy offensive line, just like the same offensive line except Pooney, which is an upgrade from Burford. Maybe Feliciano. I think Feliciano was really good last year. But, I mean, you have an aging Brendo who's a year older. I think he was ranked the worst center in the game. McKivitt's giving up the most pressure right tackle. And um, Aaron Banks, he's hit or miss, man. One play, he'll do amazing. Maul a guy in the next hit, just whiff. So it's not the greatest offensive line, and he's doing it with receivers that are are hurt. 
<laughs> and he's still pulling a big ass number. So I love it, man. Sean Salisbury, he's 100% right, man. These pundits, man, just got to say, hey, I was wrong. It is what it is. Uh, the guy's solid, you know, and I go back and forth. If he has one bad game, all of a sudden, no, he sucks now. It's like, dude, come on, bro. If Joe Burrow has a bad game and Pat Mahomes has a bad game, we're not going to say, oh, this guy, they suck. They suck. That's what they do with Brock Purdy, man. If he has one bad game, which he hasn't had all year, um, they're just going to start ripping him. Oh, he lost that game. Like, dude, no, he didn't. Like, stop. Knock it off. But it goes with the territory, being the last pick in the draft, uh, being a guy that looks like uh, average American, you know, an average American uh, just because he doesn't have that those uh, Pat Mahomes, Joe Burrow, Josh Allen, good looks, tall. It's like, who cares, dude? The guy's getting it done, and he's a baller. So uh, that's what I got, man. Let me know what you think. Sean Salisbury saying that. Like, comment, subscribe. Talk to you next time. Peace.